How do you do? Hello, Jay. How do you do? Hi, Bob. How do you do? Welcome. Please take a seat. Thank you. So, when did you arrive in London? I arrived last night. Really, you must be tired from jet lag. Not really. I'm totally fine after drinking coffee this morning. Great. How do you feel about England? London is nice generally, just a bit cold. I mean, the weather. You will get used to it after a few days. Don't worry. I hope so. Okay, let's begin our meeting today then. Sure, I'm ready. How are you doing? Hi, Jane. How are you doing? Hi, Jennifer. I'm doing great. And you? Good, thanks. Do you have any plans this weekend, Jane? I haven't had any plans yet. Just stay at home, maybe. We will have a barbecue party in my backyard this Saturday. I would like to invite you and your family to join us. Oh, really? Sure. Is there a special occasion? Not really. It's just like an end of summer party, you know. Sure. Do you need help with the food? No need. Just come over. Okay. Then I will bring some snacks. See you this weekend. See you. Bye. How was your day? Hi, mom. Hi, Kelly. You're back. How was your day? It was great, mom. You seem to be very happy. What happened, mom? The teacher told us that our class will have a camping trip after the exams. Oh, really? Did she say where you are going to? No. She said there will be a meeting to discuss specifically the trip after we finish our exams. That's great. For now, just focus on the exams, okay? Sure, mom. I just feel excited. I love camping trips. I know. I know. Now, go wash your hands. We will have dinner soon. How is it going? Hi, Jack. Hey, Lauren. Good to see you. You too. How's it going? Yeah, everything's great. Just a bit busy. And you? Pretty good. How's your new job? It's okay. There's a lot to learn. What's new with you? Not much. I'm just trying to find a new job too. Oh, really? Is there something wrong with your recent job? No, I'm just too busy now. I want to find a job that gives me some time to take care of my family. I hope you will find a better one soon. Thanks a lot, Jack. Not at all. How have you been? Mrs. Lucy, I haven't seen you for a long time. How have you been? I'm okay. It's good to see you again, Mrs. Smith. Are you still working for a recruitment agency? Yes. How about you? I have retired. I'm living with my daughter now. So you don't live on Arthur Street anymore, right? 
Yes, we are living in another city. That's why I haven't seen you in a long time. Yes, this time I came back to visit my relatives here. When will you come back home? Two days later. If you have time, come over to my place. Sure, I will. How are you feeling? <coughs> Good morning, Doctor. Good morning, Tom. How are you feeling today? I feel much better today. Do you still cough much? I still cough, but much less than yesterday. Do you feel it is difficult to breathe? A little bit. It's just hard to breathe because my nose is blocked. Okay, no problem. When can I go home, doctor? Probably in a few days, if you don't have any serious problems. Thanks, doctor. Rest yourself properly. I will come back to check tomorrow. Thank you. Goodbye, doctor. What should I eat today? Sometimes thinking, what should I eat today, is also a difficult choice. Let's see what the friends in the video choose to eat for today. I can't decide what to eat today. Hi, Anna. I'm back. How long have you been home? Hi, Jenny. Why are you so late today? I went back and took a bath. And I finished watching half of the episode and then you came back. What time is it now? Let's see. Nearly 8 p.m. Are you busy today? Yes, exactly. I have my hands full with my workload. Now I'm extremely exhausted. I didn't expect it to be so late. Come here, sit down and relax a bit. What's going on at the company? You look so tired these days. It's a big project, and the day after tomorrow, we're going to have a presentation to introduce a new product. It's stressful. <sighs> Poor you, but at least you should pay a bit of attention to your health. You just recovered from the illness last week. You should eat enough and take rest regularly. Yes, I know. I will definitely take a break after this project. And have you eaten anything yet? No, I am waiting for you to come back to eat together. There are two of us living together at home. We have to wait for each other to eat together. Thanks, love you. So, I'm starving right now. What did you eat this afternoon? Nothing much. Most of the day I just drank some coffee to keep me awake. Moreover, I'm always up to my eyes. I don't have any time to eat. Just drink coffee? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Just today, I promise. You know, I was about to eat, but when I was about to rest and order food, there was an urgent matter that needed to be dealt with, so I had to do it right away. And so you drank coffee instead of lunch? Not really. After that, I didn't feel hungry anymore and needed to stay awake to finish the work as quickly as possible. Have you finished yet? No, tomorrow. One more day. Okay, I know. Anyway, you should order something to eat. It's fast. 
Okay, okay, I remember. So what should we eat today? It's quite late to cook a meal. I think we should eat out. Do you have any ideas? Oh no, I can't decide. Um, let me see. Do you want to go for a steak? There's a new restaurant near my house. Really? How long has it been open? Why don't I know? You're always busy. About one week, if my mind serves me right. Ah, uh, yes, but I don't want to go out because I'm too tired. To be honest, can we order something to take home? Good idea. I'm also too lazy to go out. <laughs> We're the same, haha. <laughs> That's true. Please choose something for us. Oh, I don't know either. How about pasta? My colleagues at my company often order lunch. It tastes very good. Great, it's been a long time since I ate pasta. Ah, this restaurant is also having a discount. I was going to ask you out a few days ago, but you were too busy. After finishing the project, I'll go out to eat another dish with you. Cool! So now order the pasta for dinner. Okay. Jenny, I've ordered this. They said they'll come within 15 minutes. It's okay. I think in the meantime you can change your clothes at home and get some rest. Soon they'll come and we'll eat. Yes, Anna. What do you think about that while we eat, we will watch a short film? That's a great idea, Jenny. Where are the cookies? Hey, Alice, didn't you go to school today? Hi, Jean. I forgot today I'm off. My teacher has a meeting and we don't go to school. Oh, really? So you stayed at home all morning? Yes, exactly. That's boring because I'm staying alone. Don't worry. I'm here now. You don't know how bored I was this morning. I woke up at 8 a.m. and found something to eat. Then I watched two episodes of this film. Now I'm so tired. Me too. I'm exhausted because today's math class was so difficult. I'm tired and hungry. Is there anything to eat in the fridge? Ah, cookies. I saw them yesterday. Oh no. Alice, where's the bag of cookies? Jane? I remember it is in the fridge. This early morning I saw it when I took a cup of milk. Yes, that's right, but this morning when I was watching the film, I ate it. Why did you eat all the cookies? You should have saved some for me. I'm sorry, because... When I woke up, I was so hungry. I was very hungry when I got home from school, too. Sorry, Alice, I didn't mean to do that. If you saved me a piece, it would be better. You're so selfish. Sorry, I forgot. Tomorrow, when I go to the supermarket, I'll buy it for you. So, what am I going to eat now? We should have bought a little more food from our last supermarket trip. Last time we had to hurry back because it was raining cats and dogs outside. I thought there were some cookies at home, so I didn't buy anything to eat after school. I am so sorry. Forgive me, please. Now, what do you want to eat? How about going out to eat something for lunch? 
I'm too tired to go somewhere and eat. Or should we order food to eat at home? I'll invite you to this meal as an apology. Are you okay? Okay, it's fine. Remember, next time save it for me a bit. Of course, I remember. So what should we eat now? Is Chinese food okay? No, we just ate it last week at Jack's birthday party. I don't really want to eat that now. Um, let's see. How about Thai food? Do you mean Thai fried noodles and somtam? Yes, that's right. I think that's a good idea. It has been a long time since we ate Thai food. Let's try something different this time. Okay, check out the restaurant's menu. I hope they deliver fast. I'm so hungry. Don't worry, I think it will be quick. Marriage Cheryl and her boyfriend Justin just got engaged. Watch the video and see what they are going to do the days before their official wedding ceremony. Cheryl, I heard that Justin proposed to you last week, right? Yes, he did. Everything came so sudden that I was too surprised. I couldn't say a word. But in the end, you said yes. Of course. We've been dating for years. I think it's about time I settle down and finally get married. Congratulations! You guys make a cute couple. Thank you so much, Katie. We are all going to be your bridesmaids, right? I'm so excited. I haven't been to any weddings for a long time. Obviously. I don't trust anyone enough to give them this position but you guys, so you should feel honored. Wow, I'm glad to hear that. How did your two's families feel about this? They must be over the moon. They really did. They were actually getting impatient. But we already promised to get married only when we feel stable enough. You know, financially and some other things. Right! That way, life after marriage won't be as difficult or stressful. So tell us, how did he propose to you? Yes, we really want to hear. Justin is such a romantic guy. Well, at first I thought it was a regular date. We had dinner at one of our favorite restaurants then just hung around Times Square for a while. But then he took me back to NYU, where we first met. <laughs> Sounds like something Justin would do. Yes, but can you believe at that moment I still didn't know why we were there? No way, really? <laughs> yes, but you can't blame me. He was too secretive. I couldn't figure out a thing. All right, continue. What happened after that? I was confused because the campus's garden was so dark. But then all the lights were up and I saw candles everywhere. We were standing inside of a heart made of by rose petals. Then I heard a song playing and I realized it was one that he composed himself. Wait a second. He doesn't learn music. He also doesn't work in that field. Yet he made an entire song just to propose to you? Yes, I was surprised too. Anyway, after that he held my hand and just went on and on about how much I mean to him. How I changed his life and how he doesn't find love in anyone else. Oh, how romantic. And then he just got down on one knee and popped the question. I didn't say anything at first because I was shocked. And right when he was about to stand up, afraid that I would reject him, I hugged him and said yes. It sounds like something came out of a movie. 
You are so lucky to have a man like him, Cheryl. Yes, you guys better be happy for the rest of your life. Thank you, Tiffany. Of course we will. Let's start planning a bachelor at party for Cheryl, shall we? I'm glad that she specifically gave us this mission. Yes, I'm so excited about this. We have to make this the best party ever for her. Right. It has to be a beautiful memory for her before starting her family life. So, let's decide on the location. Any ideas? Cheryl doesn't like traveling that much, so how about we just stay here in New York? I suggest a pool party. That sounds fun. But Cheryl said that she had always wanted to go to Cuba. Can we go there? It's just a short flight. I bet she won't mind. But Justin told us that he wanted to take Cheryl to Cuba for their honeymoon, remember? Oh, right. Sorry. I completely forgot. Well, pool party it is then. Great! My friend is the manager of an outdoor pool in a building near Central Park. I'll arrange things with him and give you guys the address later. Wait, but what about the residents of the building? Some people might want to use the swimming pool. I don't want to bother them. It's only one evening, but still. Hmm, I guess we can start the party a bit late, probably after 8 then? People won't be likely to go to the pool from that time. That's a great idea. Okay, I can go with that. Then you take care of the location, Mina. How many people should we invite? I think Cheryl would want us to keep this somewhat private, so don't invite too many. Just several more of our mutual friends and people at her workplace that she's close with. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. A big party would easily get out of control. What about food and drinks? I still think we should have some food there, although I know we would just drink the whole evening. I think so too, but yes, it's best if we have food, just in case. Then I'll order some pizza and sandwiches at Kat's Deli. It's Cheryl's favorite. Cool, I like that restaurant too. I will also bring champagne and prepare some cocktails for us. Is that fine? Absolutely! So, about the time. Tiffany said we should start the party at past 8. Then, is 8.30 okay? Or 9 if you want to. We would stay up all night anyway, I guess. So, it doesn't have to be too early. No, I think 8.30 is reasonable because we also need a while to prepare things. Okay, it's all done. Now each of us will handle our work separately. Yes, let's try our best to make it an unforgettable night for Cheryl. <music> Darling, it's only one week left till the wedding. I think we should check everything again, you know, just to be sure. Alright, where do you want to start? Well, we already decided that the ceremony will be held at the local church. Did you confirm that? Yes, the other day they called and it's all settled. Perfect. What about the reception? I forgot to ask you about that. It's going to be at the Manhattan Hotel. Unfortunately, the conference room doesn't have enough seats, so more tables are being added. So we don't have to change the guest list anymore, right? I don't want to deal with it again. It gave me a terrible headache. Don't worry, the list is already fine. I heard that your wedding dress needed to be fixed, is that okay? Yes, no problem. I expect them to be delivered by tomorrow. Then my mom will lay out the full outfit for me. Oh, speaking about tomorrow. We are going to have a wedding rehearsal at 6. Right, I almost forgot about that. Oh my god, who knows a wedding needs this much preparation? <laughs> it can be stressful. But I see you still got everything under control. You're an amazing organizer in my eyes. Thank you, I'm flattered. 
Anyway, this morning I just spoke to one of my friends, Chris. He owns a studio and he agreed to be the photographer for our wedding. Some of his employees will be there to help as well. Really? Is it possible for him to make a video as well? That would be amazing. I know you would want a video, so I told him that already. He will also take care of the editing, so you don't have to worry about that either. Oh, you're so thoughtful. Anything for you. Have you sent all the invitations? Uh, not yet. One of my bridesmaids, Tiffany, is doing a double check. But I already told her that I need them to be sent before tomorrow ends. I see. So we're almost done, right? Yes. Things are going really well. Holiday Wishes On holidays, people often gather and send each other meaningful wishes. Watch this video and learn how to give wishes to other people. Dialogue 1 Wishes for the New Year Everybody, let's count down with me. Three, two, one. one. Happy, Happy New, New Year! Year! Look, people are lighting fireworks. It is so bling and beautiful. Wow, it's so wonderful. Let's drink and eat yummy food. Yes, Daddy. Tim, the new year has arrived. I wish my son a more favorable new year and gain many interesting experiences. And Ben, I hope your career grows up rapidly and you will love me and Tim more. And the last one. I hope our family has a lucky year, happy, lots of health, and full of love. I love you. Thank you, Mom. I promise that I will try my best to study. Thank you, honey. Mom, I hope you always look young and beautiful as now. Love me and father more. Wish my dad is always strong and gains more success in his work. I love dad and mom so much. Thanks, my boy. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Tim. Hope you and mom are happier and stronger than the old year. I'll always love the two of you most. Now, who wants to go out and make a city tour with me? That sounds great. Let's go, Daddy. Dialogue 2. Christmas Wishes Merry Christmas, my friends. Cheers! Cheers. Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas. Wow, the food is awesome. Who made it? It's Monica. She spent four hours preparing to make these dishes. You are so great, Monica. Thank you, Tom. By the way, you should try the apple cake over there. I learned to make it on the internet. I ate it. It's so yummy. Everyone, I have a Christmas gift for you. Tom, this is for you. Wish you a Merry Christmas, and hope our friendship is forever, and we can enjoy every Christmas together. And Lucas, I hope you will find one half soon, and have a better job. Merry Christmas, Lucas. Here is your gift. Thanks, Monica. I also have a gift for you. Hope you always smile and enjoy a happy life. Lucas, your gift here. Wish you and your family have good health and love each other. Thank you, my friends. I also would like to send you presents. Love you, Lucas and Monica. All the best wishes to you. Okay, let's sing a Christmas song together and enjoy our Christmas. Dialogue 3. Thanksgiving Wishes Mom, the turkey you made is so yummy. I want to eat it more. Thanks, Ben. 
Let me take more for you. Yay! Love you, Mom. Son, today is Thanksgiving. I want to give you a wish. May God bless you with peace, prosperity, and abundance. Love you, my son. Thanks, Dad. Wishing you blessings of health, happiness, and success on Thanksgiving and always. Your chicken here, Ben. Oh, Maria, may you always be blessed with the rich and beautiful gifts of life. Happy Thanksgiving. Love you, honey. Love you too, John. Hope you always love me and Ben, and your work will grow fast. Hope our family always has good health and will always be happy. Dialogue 4. Wishes on Mother's Day Mommy, where are you? I'm here. I'm washing clothes. Have you eaten for dinner? No, Mom. We are so hungry. Let's have dinner now. John, could you help me take food to the table? I'm quite busy now. Of course, honey. Let me do it for you. Mom, hurry up. We have a big surprise for you. Okay, done. What is it, Joey? I am so curious now. Mom! Happy, Happy Mother's, Mother's Day! Day. We, we love, love you, you so much. much. Mom, thank you for being such a great mother, teacher, and friend. Happy Mother's Day. I also want to give you a wish, Mom. I wish that you were always healthy, happy, and loved each and every single day. Thank you, Ginny and Joey. I'm so proud of you. You make me feel so surprised and happy. Anna, we have a gift for you. Hope you love it. Happy your day and wish you always beautiful and young. We love you, Anna. Wow, what a beautiful dress. I love it so much. It's the best gift I ever received. I love you, my family. Why should we hire you? A marketing officer. May I come in, sir? Yes, please come in. I have an interview appointment today. Good morning. I'm Steve. I'm the head of human resources in this company. Have a seat, please. Thank you. I'm Leah. Nice to meet you today. How are you doing? Congrats, you passed the first round. Is that test difficult for you? I'm fine. The test is quite difficult, but it's in all areas of my knowledge area. So I can complete it in time and have a good score. Great. I will take your interview this round. Let's start. Yes, sure. We are Ace Group, and we are looking for a marketing officer, as you know. Can you give me more details about your work experience relevant to this position, please? Yes, I worked for a marketing agency for two years, and now I am looking for a better opportunity. I'm in charge of web content. However, our company is small, so I take responsibility to support other positions. Great. So your strength is writing skills, isn't it? But it's not enough. Now tell me, what is your other strength, and why should we hire you? Besides my strongest trait is my writing skill, I'm creative and a good learner. I have all the basic knowledge about marketing. I believe that I can fit myself with your requirements. Nice answer. Can you work well under pressure? I enjoy working under pressure because it helps me grow. 
I can learn how to work effectively during deadlines. Okay, I saw all the basic information in your resume. We will consider and let you know the result soon. Do you have any questions? No, I think I'm pretty good at understanding the job after the first round. I hope that I have the opportunity to work with you. I hope so. Thank you for your time today. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. An IT officer. Welcome to Open Commerce Group. I'm John, the head of the HR department. This is Mr. Smith from the head office and Ms. Loss from the IT department. Hi, nice to meet you today. I'm Tim Brooks. Okay, let's start. Tell me about yourself and why you will be a strong fit for this IT position. Yes, I'm Tim, and I have been five years working in an IT company. I have a strong passion for IT, and I really enjoy solving both complex and simple IT issues. I see myself not only having abundant experience matching your JD, but also I have an appropriate level of technical knowledge. So... I think I'm able to excel in this role. What attracted you to our company, Mr. Brooks? I feel I'm ready for a new challenge. You're a forward-thinking and innovative organization that has a big plan for the future. How would you begin a newly assigned project? Clarity is needed, I think. Once I have all the details... I can set it on with a view to completing it. Okay, I got your point. Relax. I see you are quite nervous. Yes, absolutely. I really love your company. I have had many IT jobs over the years, but... This is the most important position I'm interested in. Do you have more questions for him, Mr. Smith and Mrs. Oz? Nope, that's all. I will have more questions about professional qualifications after he completed the test. Okay, we have a test of your technical skills. Miss Loss will lead you to it. Sure, no problem. An online interview. Hi, how are you doing? Morning, I'm good. I heard that you are looking for a new job. Does everything go well? Yes, I just had an interview yesterday. Really? Oh, it was unlucky. It rained all day yesterday. No, it's just an online interview. We had a video call. Great! I haven't ever taken part in an online interview. How was it going? I had an interview for a position in the Human Resources Department. So the interviewer is the head of that department. Do you use Zoom? I hear that many companies use this app. No, we did it on MS Teams. It's more secure. Oh, it's new for me. I think I should learn about it a bit. Yes, how many companies use this one? Yesterday, while I was in the meeting, my internet connection failed. <laughs> So how did you solve it? 
I was really nervous. I tried to connect twice. Oh no, even four times. But it didn't work. Oh my! The interview failed, didn't it? That's too bad. I thought so. However, my interviewer phoned me, and we did the rest fluently. Lucky for you! Did they ask you the question of why they should hire you? Absolutely. I have many experiences in relevant jobs, so I think the interview went well. When do you know the result? They told me that one week from the interview. If I pass this round, I will be interviewed directly at the company. Hope that everything is fine. I hope so. Thank you. A hotel receptionist. Evening, my girl. How was the interview? I don't know. It's so-so. Do you think you passed? I'm not sure. The interviewer is very strict. I'm a little bit nervous and scared of him. Did they have any special questions? They asked about myself, my former experiences, my strengths. And my weaknesses. Anything else? There is a question that they asked why they should hire me. Why do I want to work for them? This is a basic question. It helps them to find out who you are and how deeply you understand that role. Then they can consider you for that position. Oh well, I think I did it badly. What did you say? Actually, well, I'm a hotel receptionist, so I tell them that I have experience in customer service. It highly matches their requirements, and I'm sociable and friendly. It's a big opportunity for me to grow and improve myself because it's a big hotel and they are professional. It's a good answer. But you should focus on their requirements. Then tell them how much you match with each requirement. There should be more details. Okay, I understand, Mom. Okay, don't be too stressed. Relax. Yes, I know. They will email me the result this weekend. You also should email them to thank them for their time today. Sure, I will write one after dinner. I want to have a bath now, Mom. Okay, relax. Who can answer that question? Everyone, today we are going to learn about addition. Stefan, come and help me. Could you take one of your pencils with you? Yes, teacher. Okay, Stefan has a pencil. Now I give Stefan another pencil. How many pencils does he have now? Who can answer that question? Okay, Lucy. Yes, ma'am. Stefan now has two pencils. Exactly. Very good, Lucy. Sit down, please. So now I give Stefan three more pencils. How many does he have now? Joe, can you help me answer this question? Yes, teacher. He has a.、Uh, he has four pencils. 
Oh, really? Is that right? Now, Joe, can you count out loud how many pencils Stefan has in his hand? One, two, three, four, five. He has five pencils. That's right. Good job. Thank you, Joe. Please sit down. Thank you a lot, Stefan. You can go back to your seat now. So you have already understood the example of addition. So from the first example, how much is one plus one? Melia, please. One plus one equals two. Very good. Thank you. So in the second example, two plus three equals what? Josh, please. Teacher, two plus three equals five. Well done. You have already understood the addition. So now let's turn to page three on your books to exercise addition more. Okay. Oh, Jesse, is Lucy going to London? Yeah. How do you know? I just saw her photos on Facebook. Well, let me see. Doesn't she have to go to work? It's a work day today. Last week, she told me she would take a few days off to go to London. Really, Lucy is so pretty in this photo. Yeah, but she came back two days ago. Oh wait, who did she go with? Her boyfriend? That's her brother. Brother? They don't look alike, do they? They look a bit alike if you look closely. Her brother is so young. How much older is he? He's only two years older than her. Really? But why have I not seen her brother many times before when I visited her house? He went to study abroad in France. Wow! What did he study in France? Do you know? Lucy told me he studied fashion. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, he came back this time, so Lucy went to London to pick her brother up. But he's two years older than Lucy. Why is he still studying? Yeah, last year in university. Now, I heard he studied finance before. So then he switched majors to study fashion. Yes, after second year, he dropped out to go to Paris. Why does Lucy never talk about her brother? Just now, I know this information. Lucy is always quiet. It's just that my parents and his family have known each other for a long time, so I know all of these things. <laughs> Who sent this letter? Sally, there is a letter sent to you today. I left it on the kitchen table. Okay, thanks, Mia. Let me check. I saw on the letter your name was handwritten. Are there still people who write handwritten letters nowadays? Yeah, I'm looking at it now. Who sent you this letter, Sally? You look so happy. My boyfriend sent it. Oh my gosh, it's so romantic, right? I'm so surprised too. 
Why did he send you a handwritten letter all of a sudden? Wait a minute. I'm reading it now. Okay. He said he couldn't celebrate my birthday with me this year, so he wanted to give me a surprise. Well, where is he now? He is doing an internship in the Netherlands. Oh, really? I can see that he really cares about you. How do you feel? I'm very moved. I just thought you would buy a gift online and ship it to me. Did he say anything else? He sent me a picture of a Dutch windmill. Your boyfriend is very attentive. Yeah, I'll definitely go over there to visit him after the exams. Have you been to the Netherlands before? I haven't. I hope I will get there in time when the tulips are still in bloom. Why don't you write a handwritten letter and send it back? He will be surprised too. Nice idea, but I don't know his address. Then you can ask him. What if he asks me why? Then you can say you want to buy something there and want to ship to his address. Awesome! Thank you so much, Mia. Not at all. No one likes the flu. You have the flu. Let's go to the hospital. I guess so. This is your prescription. You can get it at the pharmacy downstairs. Thank you, doctor. After eating, take your medicine and rest. Remember to keep warm and drink plenty of water. Thank you, doctor. Come here. Eat chicken soup, then take your medicine. Thanks, mom. Oh, I hate the flu. Good morning. Are you feeling better? Look like the flu is still there. Would you like tomato soup for breakfast? Thanks, mom. <laughs> the flu makes me feel uncomfortable. No one likes the flu. The circus. Mom, the clowns look so colorful. Do you like clowns? Yes, I like them. That's the magician, isn't he? That's right. A white dove's in his hat. How can he do it? He is amazing. They're so talented. They are like Spider-Man. Wow, he's walking on rope up in the air. The circus is so much fun. Why is that elephant here? It should be in the forest or its home. I think that man and the elephant are best friends. Really? You're right, Mom. He takes good care of the elephant. Yes. An unhealthy boy. It's almost time to eat. Don't snack. It's okay, Mom. Lunch is steak. I like steak. There is also a great salad for lunch. I hate salads.
What happened? Tom's fat. He just eats meat. He doesn't like fish, vegetables, and fruit. Let's make delicious fish, salad, and fruit tonight. What if he refuses to eat? Cook is a little late. When he is hungry, whatever he eats is delicious, and I'll hide all of the snacks. Is dinner ready yet? After fifteen minutes, I'm hungry. Do you see snacks anywhere? I don't know. I hate fish. Just try it. How is it? Not bad. I like it. Ferris wheel. Are you ready for the Ferris wheel? I'm ready. Maybe. Let's go, Dad. You must fasten your seatbelt. <gasps> oh, I forgot. Our seat is pink. It's beautiful. I'm glad you like it. We are going up higher and higher. I know, it's starting to get scary. Dad is afraid of heights, right? Now you know. Don't be afraid. I'm here. Let's hold on to the metal bar. You'll be safe. All right. Look below, Dad. Everything is small. Our city is beautiful, and the sky is beautiful too. You're right. It seems that I'm no longer afraid. More money. Today is my payday. I remember, ten dollars. I'm twelve years old. I'm older. I also need more money. No deal. I only have fifteen dollars. What are you doing? I'm sweeping. Oh. I want an extra five dollars for my weekly pay period. No, honey. Let me wash the dishes. Thank you. We have fried eggs and bacon for breakfast. Okay, I'll give you fifteen dollars per week. Thanks, Mom. Merry Christmas. Hi. Do I know you? No, but I know you. This is for you. But why? Christmas. Everyone gets a gift. Thank you. Do you like it? I love it. <laughs> Whose shoes are these? <laughs> Alice, Lena, come here. Mommy, did you just get back from work? Yes, Lena. Where is Alice? She is in the toilet. Okay, let's wait for her, and I will ask you too. Hi, Mommy. How are you? 
I'm good, Alice. Come over here. What's wrong, Mom? Girls, look. The shoes are all over the place. Whose shoes are these? They're not mine. They're Alice's. They are mine, Mom. Alice, why are your shoes lying on the floor like that? I'm sorry, Mom. I went home and had to rush to the toilet, so I threw them away. And then? And then I forgot I left them like that. Let me put them on the shoe rack. Okay, next time don't forget again. Yes, Mom. But didn't you go home with Lena? Yes, I did. Did you see her leaving her shoes like that, Lena? Yes, I saw. Why didn't you put it on for her? I thought she would go back and put them on the rack. I didn't expect that she stayed in the toilet for so long. Next time, you should help your sister right away, okay? It only takes a few seconds. Yes, Mom, I got it. Why did you have to rush into the toilet? I had a stomach ache. Do you feel better now? Yes, I'm good now. Okay, now go take a shower, then fold your clothes. I will prepare dinner very quickly. Yes, yes Mommy! Mommy. Whose report is it? David, come in. Oliver, have you looked at this month's report? Yes, I have already seen. Let's sit down for a while to discuss. Okay, is there any report that needs to be fixed or redone? There is a few reports that still need some adjustment. I wrote it down here. Yes, I will tell everyone. By the way, whose report is this? Let me have a look. Oh, this is Elisa's report. What is the problem? No problem. I just found that report to be very well done. Really? What's special about it? Yes, very detailed report. She also analyzed the data and gave out very sharp conclusions. Recently, her work results have always been extremely good. She also always works very hard. Really? What do you think about her overall performance? Objectively, her performance might be the best among the team, and very consistent. How about her leadership ability, in your opinion? She gets on very well with the team, but I'm not sure about her leadership ability. I think we should consider giving her a promotion. Appoint her to a team leader position. Why so sudden? It's not. We are also in need of management-level staff, though. Right. I also think she deserves a promotion. So, you discuss more with the staff about this promotion, then adjust the salary accordingly. Okay. So, how about other reports? No problem. Please inform everyone to give back the revised version to me in two days. Okay. Whose car is this? William, do you want to go to my house and play games? Okay, let's play some FIFA online matches. Okay. Whoever loses will have to pay for dinner. Deal? 
Yes, that sounds interesting. Let's go. Wow, Lucas, look! There is a beautiful car in front of your house. Yeah, it looks great, doesn't it? Whose car is this, Lucas? Is it yours? <laughs> of course not. It's James's car, my housemate. Wow, it's so beautiful. He must be very rich to ride this car. You won't believe it, but he got it by luck. Luck? What do you mean? Ah, uh, he just won a lottery. <laughs> what? Really? Yeah, for real. Unbelievable, right? Yes, incredible. He almost fainted when he heard that he won the lottery. <laughs> I would be so shocked, too, if I were him. Yeah, I've bought many lotteries and never win once. Me, too. Oh, here he is, the owner of this beautiful car. Hi, Lucas. What are you doing? James, this is my friend William. We are admiring your car. Hi, James. Nice to meet you. You have such an amazing car. Hi, William. Nice to meet you, too. Thank you. We will play a FIFA football game. Do you want to join? Maybe later, when I'm back, if you still play, but I have to go out now. Okay, no problem. Just knock on my door when you come home. Sure. See you too then. See ya. Let's come in and play the game. Don't forget our bet. Yeah, let's go. Gratitude. Thanks for the birthday greetings. Is anybody at home? Yes, who are you? Hi, Sarah. Happy birthday. Surprise! What a surprise. Alex, Anna, and Jack. Why are you here? What is it, Sarah? Did you forget today is your birthday? No, no. I remember, of course. But how amazing you are. All over you are here. Come in, come in. Yes, sure. Thank you so much for coming here. Don't mention it. We've been playing together since we were a child. How could we forget your birthday? That's right. Every year we come to celebrate everyone's birthday. Thanks. Sarah. This is my birthday gift. I'm sure you'll like it. Oh, you brought me a gift? You shouldn't have. You guys are here. That is already the most special gift for me. Happy birthday, Sarah. I hope you'll like this gift. When you were a kid, you wanted to have it, I remember. Hey, Alex, where is your gift? Actually, Alex sent me a present yesterday. Thank you. I like it very much. What is that? A beautiful dress. I'm so glad to receive your gift, Alex. Thank you very much. You should have worn it today. Oh, I forgot. No problem. You are always great friends. I can't show how grateful I am for what you did for me today. Not at all. It's raining heavily outside, but you guys still gathered and came to my house. You're very considerate when preparing this meaningful gift for me. We've been planning since last week. 
So today you guys stay here and let's have a small party together. That's a great idea. Yes, it's rare that we get to sit together like this. Thanks for helping me. What are you doing here, Anna? What's wrong with you? Oh, Alex, I don't know. I was driving normally when my car stopped. Now I can't restart it anymore. I don't even know what to do. Okay, let me see. I think your engine's failed. Oh dear, so what should I do? I hope I can fix it. It's quite a normal error. Ten minutes later. Okay, done. It's okay right now. Oh, really? Thank you so much, Alex. No problem. I didn't know what to do when this road was so empty of traffic. Yes, this road is quite empty. I have to go through here today. Normally, I go the other way. That's so lucky for me. The next time this happens to you, you can call the car repairman. Do they come quickly? I'm not sure, but I think yes. Anyways, many thanks. You're awesome. Oh, Alex, Anna. Why are you standing here? What's the matter with you? Hi, Sarah. Nothing much. Sarah, Alex just help me. What's wrong? Uh, my car had some problems. When I didn't know what to do, Alex went through and helped me. That's great. Alex used to help me too. Alex, I would never forget your kindness. Yes, he's awesome, right? That's right. I thought there was something going on between the two of you. No. Alex, can I invite you for dinner as a thank you? Oh, you shouldn't have. I want to say thanks to you. I owe you one. Okay, that's fine. Thank you, colleague. What's wrong with you? You look so nervous. Jack, I don't know what to do now. It's nearly the time I have a presentation with the partner. Sarah, what's the matter? I'm preparing for my presentation now. Suddenly, my laptop crashes. I'm not sure I've saved the documents or not. Calm down. If it hasn't been saved, it's really awful. I won't be able to sign a contract with a partner. It's a big contract with our company. Don't worry, let me see. Please help me, I have to show the presentation at all costs. Thank you in advance. Sarah, everything is okay. The data has been recovered. Nothing is lost. Really? Thank you so much, Jack. I owe you a great deal. Not at all. Colleagues helping each other is normal. Prepare your presentation well. Okay. No problem. Keep going. Jack, you do me a big favor. Did you successfully sign the contract? Yes, of course. Thanks to you. 
And I don't know how to express my thanks to you. Don't mention it. The data on the computer is really important. The partner was extremely satisfied with the preparation of the presentation. It's my pleasure. To be honest, the problem with your computer is common, so I can fix it easily. Can I invite you to lunch tomorrow? Oh, of course I'm willing. And I'm willing to help you too. I really appreciate it. Have you ever been sick? There are many situations in daily life when we have to ask people how they feel or express that we are not feeling well. Let's watch the video to learn more vocabulary on the being sick topic. Catch a cold. <laughs> Emily, are you okay? Why are you coughing so much? I feel sick. I must have caught a cold. Why so suddenly? I got caught in the rain when I was back from work today. Why didn't you stay somewhere to avoid it? I did, but it rained so suddenly that I was still a bit wet. Only until it stopped raining did I go home. So rests and sleeps early today. Let me make you a glass of ginger juice. Yeah, thanks, but I have to do some work first. Health is above all. I think you should go to bed early. I can't. I have a deadline tomorrow morning. I still have to finish it. Okay, try to hurry up and get some rest. I'll bring you ginger tea later. Thank you very much. Emily? Emily? Are you okay? Emily, I will come in. Emily, how are you feeling? Kathy, I have a terrible headache and I feel so cold. You have a fever. Let me get you a cold towel and a pill. Here, Emily, try to get up and eat a little and then take the pill. Kathy, could you help me call my colleague Dorothy and ask for sick leave for me? I'm so tired. Okay, let me call. Is this the contact, Emily? Yes. Hi, Emily. Why haven't you come yet? Hi, Dorothy. I'm Kathy, Emily's housemate. Yesterday, Emily caught a cold and had a high fever all night, so she wants to ask for a day off today. Oh, okay, so just tell her to rest and get well soon. I'll help her to ask for a day off. Thank you. Goodbye. Not at all. Goodbye. Done, Emily. Now rest yourself properly. What time did you get to sleep last night? I finished my work at 3 a.m. yesterday. Oh my god, that's why it got worse. You have to rest carefully today. Don't think about work anymore. Yeah, I will. It is true that only when you are sick do you appreciate your health. Have a broken leg. Joe, your friends came over to visit you. Hi, Hi Joe. Joe. Hi, Joe. Hey, everyone. Thanks for coming. Come in. Joe, how are you feeling? We bought some fruits for you. Thank all of you. I feel much better now. Before, it hurt like hell. <laughs> we heard you broke your leg. What happened? Well, 
I was fixing the bulb in the garden when I fell off the ladder. <laughs> you must have climbed so high that you broke your leg. What happens after that? Yeah, pretty high. At the time, Kate was in the house when she heard me fall, so she ran to check. Then I saw him lying motionless on the ground. I panicked and called an ambulance right away. Motionless? Did you faint, Joe? Yeah, I fainted for a few minutes. Was there something wrong with your head? No, the doctor checked. It's okay. Just a minor injury. That sounds serious. Fortunately, my head was not damaged, but a broken leg is troublesome enough. Did the doctor tell you when you could have the plaster cast removed? He said two months later. Oh, it's kind of long though. How about a full recovery? It will probably take a few more months. Fighting, Joe. We're glad you are good now. Thanks for visiting me today. Next time you climb, remember to be careful, Joe. Sure, I will. I learned a lesson, though. Well, take a rest, Joe. We'll leave now. Thank you again. Goodbye. 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 Work Attendance Dialogue 1 Mike, you've been late five times already this month. I remembered being three times late. Let me look through the timesheet. I am right. It's a total of five times. Oh my gosh, will my bonus this month be deducted? Yes. However, tell me why you are always late. You know, during rush hour, there is usually a traffic jam. It takes me a long time to get to work by bus. Why don't you just take the subway? I have never taken the subway, but I will consider that. Or you can get up a little earlier to avoid traffic jams. Dialogue 2 Could you please explain to me why I lost my bonus last month, Mary? Not sure, you should inquire with the personal department. Wendy, why did I forfeit my bonus? You were late three times last month. However, we only lose our one month bonus if we are late five times a month. It's an old rule, a new rule has been made. What exactly do you mean? Since taking over the position, the new director has paid special attention to punctuality. Employees will lose one month's bonus if they are late three times in a month, according to the new workplace regulation. Oh, I got it. Transferring phone call. Dialogue 1. Is that Blue Valley School for Japanese Trading? Yes, may I assist you? I'm curious, how long will it take to finish studying all of the books required for the intermediate level? Please hold the line as I transfer the call to Miss Jang. Thank you very much. I'm sorry, she's not here right now. You can return the call or leave your phone number. I'd rather she call me back. 
My phone number is 010-580-0125. I'll send the message to her as soon as she arrives. Dialogue 2 Hello, Royal Hotel. How may I help you? Could you please forward the phone to the sales manager? I'm sorry, we have a bad connection. Could you speak a little louder, please? Could you transfer it to the sales manager for me? Oh, yes. Please hold the line. I'll put you through it. Sorry, but the transmission is not good. I will transfer it again. By the way, what is the sales manager's extension number? His number is... Wait, let me jot it down. His number is 018-047-8580, sir. <phone rings> Arranging meetings. Dialogue 1. Linda, the meeting is planned for this afternoon at 14 o'clock. Have you done all of the required preparations? Yes, sir. The meeting will be held in our number one conference room. What about the microphone? I've prepared them. Is there anything else? I've placed notebooks, paper copies of the projects, and pencils on each attendee's table. Good. What about drinking water? They will indeed be served in the lobby. I also made coffee for the break. That's fantastic. You did an excellent job. Dialogue 2 Is everything set for tomorrow's meeting, Lucy? Yes, the meeting room is ready and here is the agenda. Have you informed everyone about the meeting time? I notified everyone, either by email. Who will take meeting minutes now? Is this necessary? Of course, this is essential for every meeting, especially an important meeting like this. Sorry, I didn't pay attention to this. Why are you always so careless? You should have given this job to Linda. She has a lot of experience. I'm sorry. I will tell her right now. <laughs> Publishing Notice Dialogue 1 The May Day holiday is almost approaching. I'll be able to get some rest. What are your plans for the holiday? That depends on the number of days off. We will have three days off. Are you certain? Of course. The holiday notice has been put on the notice board. Have you not seen that? I didn't pay attention to it. You should go watch it if you haven't already. Okay, I'll check into it right now. Dialogue 2 Our meeting has been postponed. Really? However, no one informed me about it. Did you not get the notice? Yeah, there have been no notices this entire week. Two days ago, the notification was typed and given to everyone. It is certain that it was distributed to everyone in the office? It should have been distributed to everyone. 
didn't you read the messages on the bulletin board? I have a lot to get done, and I often forget to check the bulletin board. You should check your inbox on a regular basis, otherwise you'll never know what you need to do. Yes, I will check notifications more often. Arranging Appointments Dialogue 1 Hello, my name is Nami. I got a call from Sam Weekly and would like to arrange an appointment with Mr. Edward Jackson. He's not here right now. I am his secretary. Can I help you? I'd want to schedule a meeting with him. What time of day do you prefer? What about Thursday in the morning? Let me have a look. I'm afraid he won't be available since he'll be attending a conference to analyze a new product. So what day is he free this week? It's fine on Wednesday afternoon. Dialogue 2 Hello, my name is Susan. I would like to schedule an appointment with Dr. Joan. Okay, Susan, what date and time would you like to make an appointment? How about on Saturday at 8 a.m.? I'm afraid not. The doctor has to go on a business trip on Saturday. What is the medical examination schedule of Dr. Joan currently? During this week, the doctor will have free hours on Tuesday afternoon and Thursday afternoon. So on Tuesday, 2 p.m., please. That's fine. So I will schedule an appointment for you at 2 o'clock on Tuesday. Arranging Trips Dialogue 1 Linda, next week I'll be in Tokyo on business. When are you going to leave? How long will you be there? I'll leave around the 15th and return on the 23rd. All right. I'll reserve a ticket and a hotel for you. What time do you want to fly? I want the flight at 10 o'clock. What are your hotel requirements? You might reserve a room at the hotel that has a corporate credit agreement with our firm. I got it. And after I have confirmation of the ticket and hotel, I will send you a list of the trip's itinerary. Please remind me to bring my passport and other essentials. Okay, I will remind you. Dialogue 2 Ivy, when do I fly to New York? You'll be departing from Capital International Airport on Wednesday morning. When is the meeting ultimately scheduled? Next Thursday on the 25th. Where is the meeting place? A five-star hotel near International Airport, sir. So what day will I go to headquarters to report? After the meeting, you will report to the headquarters on the 29th. I'll notify you after I've discussed the details with Emily. Good job. Please keep me updated on what happens. Yes, sir. Arranging Interviews Dialogue 1 Lucy, the accounting department is understaffed. Have you posted a job advertisement yet? 
Yes, these are some of the most recent resumes I've received. I believe we can pick one of them. Well, you will select five applicants and invite them to come in for interviews. When is the best time for the interview? Let me first double check my schedule. Thursday morning will be fine. How about 8.30 a.m. on Thursday morning in our number one conference room? Great. I'll arrange it. What factors should I consider before making a decision? Pay attention to their English ability. I get what you mean. Dialogue 2 Do you remember that we posted a job ad? Yes, I remember. Has anyone applied yet? We put up an ad online last month, and here are the papers from all of the candidates. Good. We should select 10 applicants in the first round and invite them back for a second interview. Who will be in charge of the first and second rounds, respectively? The first round will be handed by the personnel department, and the second round will be handled by me. How many employees do we require at this time? Just three. What should I do to prepare for the interview? You must prepare the interview notice and notify them of the time and place. <laughs> 